Yeah. Remember me? I'm a Leo. Hey, look, I'm a turkey. Look, 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 look. Just kidding. So today we are going to look at finding factors of a number. So the first question is, what is factoring?、Hmm? Well, factoring is the process of finding all the numbers that a number is divisible by. Now let's look at my example. So here are twelve dots. We need to find the factors of twelve. So here, as you can see, there is one row with twelve dots. We also know that one times twelve equals twelve. So one and twelve are also factors of twelve. Now here I can also put them in two rows, and in each row there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six dots. We know that two times six equals twelve. So two and six are also factors of twelve. And here I can put them in three rows like this: one, two, and three. And in each row there are four dots. We know that three times four equals twelve. So three and four are also factors of twelve. So once we figure out all the ways twelve dots can be arranged, we can look at the number of rows and the number of dots in each row to find out the factors of twelve. So in the previous video, we know that one, two, three, four, six, and twelve are all factors of twelve. Now let's look at this example. Find factors of one hundred fifty. Oh, so this time we won't use dots because there will be too many dots on the screen, and we can't fit that many dots, or else it'll be like this. One. <laughs> so now let's figure this out. We know that. The number and itself are already factors of one hundred fifty. So let's write the one and one hundred fifty here. And now, is two a factor of one hundred fifty? Well, factors always come in pairs. They are called factor pairs because they are factors, but also pairs. So two is definitely a factor of one hundred fifty. Now let's verify this. Here is my long division, and as you can see, one hundred fifty divided by two equals seventy-five, and of course there is no remainder. And the other factor is seventy-five. So let's write the seventy-five here. Now let's move on. So now is three a factor of one hundred fifty? Well, the rule is if the sum of the number is divisible by three, the number is divisible by three. So let's add one plus five plus zero equals six. So six is divisible by three. So one hundred fifty is divisible by three. Now let's verify this. Here is my long division, and as you can see, one hundred fifty divided by three equals fifty. So let's write the fifty here. Now let's move on to four. Now is four divisible by one hundred fifty? Well, we know that the rule is only look at the last two numbers. If the last two numbers are divisible by four, the number is divisible by four. So let's look at the last two numbers. They are fifty. So fifty is not 
divisible by four. So one hundred fifty is not divisible by four. So let's take a look. Here, as you can see, there is a remainder of two. So four is not a factor of one hundred fifty. So let's just cross this out. Dun dun dun. Now let's move on to five. So we know that the rule is if the number ends at zero or five, it is divisible by five. So one hundred fifty ends in a zero, so it is divisible by five. See here, I can verify. So one hundred fifty divided by five equals thirty. So let's write the thirty here. Now let's look at six. Is Six divisible by one hundred fifty. Well, we know that the rule is if the number is divisible by two and three, it is divisible by six. So, before we know that it is divisible by two and it is also divisible by three. So, one hundred fifty is definitely divisible by six. Here I can verify. See, one hundred fifty divided by six equals twenty-five. So let's write the twenty-five here. Now let's move on to seven. Is seven a factor of one hundred fifty? Hmm, this is interesting. So now let's take a look. Here, one hundred fifty divided by seven equals twenty-one, with a remainder of three. So there is a remainder of three. We want no remainder. So seven is not a factor of one hundred fifty. So let's just cross this one out. No, no, no. Now is eight a factor of one hundred fifty? Well, let's take a look. One hundred fifty divided by eight equals eighteen with a remainder of six. We want no remainder. So eight is not a factor of one hundred fifty. No, no, no. So let's cross this one out too. Now is nine a factor of one hundred fifty? Well, we know that the rule is if the sum of a number is divisible by nine, the number is divisible by nine. So here, let's add one plus five. Plus zero equals six. Six is definitely not divisible by nine because six is literally smaller than nine. So let's just take a look. One hundred fifty divided by nine equals sixteen, and there is a remainder of six. So nine is not a factor of one hundred fifty. Let's cross this one out. Now, is ten a factor of one hundred fifty? Well, we know that you only need to add a zero at the end of the number if you are multiplying the number by ten. So here, if we have the number fifteen times ten, we just have to add a zero at the end, and then we get one hundred fifty. So one hundred fifty is definitely divisible by ten. And now let's write the fifteen here. Now there are more factors like eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and I'll leave that for you to figure it out. So here, after finding all the factors of one hundred fifty, let's say all the factors out loud together. There is one, two, three, five, six. Ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, fifty, seventy-five, and one hundred fifty. So that's all for today. Did you think this was fun? Well, I did. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Loop, loop.